you know what the longest road in our body is? If you connect all of them in a row, it is about 100,000 kilometers. That's enough to circle the Earth two and a half times. What on Earth is that? The answer is blood vessels. Hello, this is Dr. Stem from Maricel. I will enrich your knowledge with stem cell related information. Today, let's take a look at blood vessels. Blood vessels literally mean the tubes through which blood flows. Through these blood vessels, various nutrients and oxygen are supplied to the whole body. In more detail, it carries the oxygenated blood from the heart to the organs and tissues throughout the body and sends the blood that has passed through the body back to the heart. Blood vessels can be divided into arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries are responsible for transporting oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the whole body, and capillaries supply oxygen and nutrients to tissue cells and collect carbon dioxide and waste products. The veins are responsible for returning carbon dioxide and waste products filtered from the tissues to the heart. The time it takes for blood to circulate throughout the body is approximately one minute, and the circulation speed of blood is approximately 216 kilometers. In terms of distance, this is the speed at which you can get from Seoul to Busan in two hours. So you can see how fast blood circulates throughout the body, right? This fast circulating blood delivers necessary nutrients to various organs in the body and our body loses its function even if there is no supply of blood for a few minutes. The three typical vascular problems, blood pressure, thrombosis, and vascular inflammation, all depend on how healthy the vascular endothelial cells are. Endothelial cells are the innermost cells of the blood vessels. When nitric oxide is not properly secreted from the vascular endothelial cells, blood pressure is not properly controlled. So, a lack of nitric oxide causes high blood pressure, and if there is too much, it causes low blood pressure. The second one is a blood clot. A blood clot is a sticky clot of blood. Nitric oxide, which is produced by endothelial cells and blood vessels, plays a role in preventing the formation of blood clots. If nitric oxide is not exported from endothelial cells, blood clots may form, leading to acute myocardial infarction and acute cerebral infarction. The third is inflammation. When the function of endothelial cells of blood vessels is impaired, inflammatory cells in the blood are attracted. Then, inflammation builds up in the blood vessels. As blood circulation plays a key role in maintaining life, it is important to manage the health of blood vessels so that blood vessels do not become narrowed in order for blood to circulate well. Aging is the changes in our body that occur as we get older. Blood vessels also age but do not show any outwardly changing symptoms until a certain point. Since it does not show symptoms, we tend to repeat bad habits such as smoking, drinking, and not exercising. We know how scary vascular diseases can get and it is best to prevent them, and it is not too late. So we should create good habits that promote healthy blood vessels such as steady, exercise, and refraining from smoking. Thank you for watching. Miracel.